students doing their final practice before Polyfest tomorrow. And as you can see, it's just a buzz with activity. We've got the drummers over there, there's a group of parents here. Um, and Anahina is a teacher here at Tamaki College. Now Anahina, we spoke with a couple of the musicians uh, from the Samoan group mm. and it's really great that you've got community support helping uh, prepare for Polyfest. And the uniforms are another really big part yeah. of the performance. Tell us a bit more about that process. So with um, our Tongan group at Tamaki College, um, it's the uniforms are a collective effort rather than um, having one person taking care of them. For a long time now, our costumes have been made individually by our parents. So the parents and the caregivers are responsible for each of their children's um, right. costumes. Right. Yeah. So what if what if they can't sew though? You know. If they can't sew, there is always a. a, a, a an auntie, a grandmother, um, a neighbour, an in-law, someone in the community that they can uh, rely on and lean on, lean on to help out. So it just yeah. uh, that support network extends far and wide to get these costumes yeah, made. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, it's and obviously it's it's a, it's a big part of the performance. Tell us a bit about the actual costume itself. And uh, well, with the costumes for the Tongan group, um, we. we Apunake, who is Melisipilatu, uh, she loves to keep it quite traditional, at least close to. Yep. So we've got, we've opted to go for a more simple design. Um, so we've got white on the top with um, some ribbon that represents our school. Uh, and the bottom is actually made out of a traditional gear with the Manulua pattern on the bottom. Uh, with the sisi, we've got, we're using sisi losi, and therefore we've got sisi on the, on the hands for the vesa, the feet, and with our teki teki, we've tried to keep as close as we can to the, um, to the feathers, but because we are not allowed to use feathers on the Tongan stage, we're being resourceful and using a lot of $2 items <laughs> from the $2 store um, to create that same effect. And those, those natural fibres mm. uh, from a plant, you say that people often have growing in the backyard. That's yeah. true, yeah. yeah. Just sissy losi, we usually have them in, in uh, the deep maroon. We also have green and sometimes even yellow. Yeah, everyone has them. Well, I'm sure Mostly. they're going to look great and we're so looking <laughs> forward to seeing them on stage in their uniforms and it's a real, you know, it's great, like you say, that the community and the whānau have come together to, to produce those items for the kids to wear. Yeah. And it gives them a real sense of pride as well when they're up there representing the school and their families. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, well, look, thank you so thank much you. for your time. <laughs> no worries, thank you so much. Okay.